So I'm here with Tiago Bouchot, and I have a uh, very important question that I want to ask a lot of the top trainers in the business. So when you get to the horse show, do you help unload the trailer? No. <laughs> Nothing. So I just wanted to see how hard a worker you were when you got here. If you the actually... The reason I don't unload the trailer is because I'm working hard. I stay at the ranch and I show up later so I can do my work at home. Uh, see? So you're one of those guys, you, you send the crew ahead and you make sure everything's done before you get there. And... Correct. All right. Now we know the truth. I'm here with Brian Bell asking the question, Brian, do you set up your own stalls? Uh, no. I do Un not. Unload the trailer. Any? Do you do any work when you get here? I try not to. I think when your name's on the side of your trailer, that means you don't have to. Hey, that's it. I like that. I like that. So I basically, you get up here, you drive the truck and trailer here? I do drive. I like to drive by myself because my help aggravates me sometimes. Fair enough. So you pull up, you get outside your stalls there, you pull up, you just, you shut her down and then... I find a buddy like you and I go, hey man, let's, hey, what'd you do last you, weekend? And yeah, you, not, well, the problem is you can't find me because I'm setting up my stalls. I like to do, yeah, I like to, you know, carry all that stuff in myself. That's my incorrect. Uh, <laughs> that is incorrect. That's I've never seen answer. you. <laughs> wrong answer. All right. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> Casey Hinton from Whitesboro, Texas, and uh, we'd like to know, Casey, do you set up your own stalls when you get to the horse show? I actually do. Uh, you know, I always help with our group, and we kind of have the routine. We know what to do, but uh, I've always been uh, where I usually travel with the horses. It's just something I've always done, and I enjoy it. Like, so do you do it because you want to lead by example, or do you do it because you just don't want your help screwing it up? Well, I like to lead by example, but you know, when it gets to the part of the carpenter work, then I find something else to occupy my time so they, they can have that part. But, uh, you know, I don't know, I've just always been in charge of that, and most of the time, uh, that's what I do. Um, but I think as I'm getting, I do, I'm getting better at designating. So, okay, so if I if I walk up and your stalls are getting set up, I can actually see you maybe have it, carrying half of a trunk in with somebody or... Let me go to the office. Well, now we have the help. So here we go. There you go. Now the truth. story. Remember, we get to the unloading part, we go to the office. Ah, uh, okay, so now we know. Casey's not actually carrying the trunk, he's just telling you where to put it. Is that right? He does carry stuff. Huh? He does carry stuff. I, I usually carry and they usually watch. Is that true? No. <laughs> no. So tell us the real story. We got Jimmy is here to tell us the real story. About unloading? Is, is Casey an unloader or is he? No, he helps unload. He does. I'm very disappointed in you, Casey. So that enough of that. Casey, he's out of my group now. <laughs> I'm here with the uh, top trainer, Sebastian Patrol. And, uh, you know, along the lines of our other trainers we've talked to, do you help unload your own trailer? Yes, I do. And set up your own stalls? Absolutely. Everything. Everything. Curtains, you make sure all the wrinkles yes, are out. Yes, Like usually whoever helps me, you know, I tell them to go to the hotel and rest. So I try to get everything set up, you know, put the shavings in, get horses put up, and then usually I'll call them when it's time to start riding. That's really amazing, and I think it's a lot of crap, personally. <laughs> <laughs> You, you put the, the German crease in all your curtains. <laughs> that's so right, that's right. Yes. Like, yes, and you know, we got pretty good with an ironing board too. So, you know, if we need to, we'll iron them real quick there. And then we have a steamer. Once they are up, we'll steam them one more time. Yeah, and where did you learn that? At basically from Tom, you know, like he was really, when it comes to hanging curtains and having your stall set up, you know, this guy is hands on. Meticulous. Meticulous, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's the right word. Fancy word too. <laughs> all right, thanks, Sebastian. I'm here with a friend of mine, a million dollar rider, Rocky Dare. We're going to ask him the same question. Rocky, when you get to the horse shows, do you help set up your stalls? Uh, not this time, I didn't. I usually do at home. At home. So when you go to your own horses, you drive your own horses there, you get there, you, you actually do the work? Oh yes, I do. There you go, that's old school. Rocky Dare, you can see the difference between the young guy, you know, the Brian Bells of the world and the Rocky Dare. What do you think of that? Brian doesn't do that. Uh, a lot of the young guys don't do it anymore. <laughs>
I don't do it either. So. <laughs> All right, thanks, Rocky. Okay, thank you. So I'm here with the same question uh, with my father-in-law, Tim McQuay. Do you, when you get to the horse show, do you help uh, set up the stalls? Oh, no. <laughs> I kind of already knew the answer to that, but okay. So what's your, you, when you get there, do you make them do it right? Or is that kind of Colleen's job or Mandy's job? In my part, I got to help them kind of get everything lined out the way I want. But then I say, I got to go talk to somebody or do something. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I have a feeling there's not a lot of stall setting up going on there because a lot of times, when that's happening, we're together, I mean. <laughs> yeah. So, I, yeah, I think we got the same program. And that's where I actually, that's where I learned it from right yeah, here. Right. When it's time to set up the stalls, let's go fight. We got to talk to somebody about selling a horse, yeah, don't we? when Colleen is available, I for sure go someplace. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, when it's time to, when it's time to actually do the work, we go, we got to sell somebody a horse. Something. <laughs> so I'm here with uh, Million Dollar Rider, Del Hendricks and uh you know future hall of famer i want to know do you set up your own stalls at the horse show not anymore well no i don't <laughs> so the what's the protocol then you drive your truck up to the to the curb and and then you go find something else to do oh yeah i look for my good buddy tom to go have dinner with so i don't have to work yeah, because I've already got my stall set up, right? Yeah, because you got here early to set yours up all by yourself. Three days ago. Exactly. So, like, how much training do you have to go through with your help to make sure they get everything right? Well, it's about a six-year process, you know, and they only usually last three years, so I haven't found one yet. Uh, awesome. Thanks, Del. So I'm here with Tom McCutcheon, who has been interviewing some of our premier horse trainers on who unloads the horse trailer when they get to the horse show. So I want to know, Tom McCutcheon, who unloads your horse trailer when you get to the horse show? Well, you know, I mean, I actually try to have my horse, my horse trailer unloaded before I get to the horse show. But I figure there's so many important things I can be doing at home or, you know, when I get to the horse show, like finding out where the nearest bathrooms are, you know, the best restaurants. There's so many other things that go into being ready for a horse show other than just that. And I have, I know I have the best stall set up people, so I just stay out of the way. <laughs> Thank you. Smart Packs are a simple, foolproof way to make sure your horse always gets the supplements he needs. They're packed in convenient, customized daily doses that make feeding time fast and easy. And because they come in pre-measured doses, are clearly labeled, and sealed for freshness, there's never any doubt that your horse is getting the absolute best. After feeding, empty Smart Packs can be stacked until they're ready to be recycled. Join the thousands of people that love Smart Packs and head on over to smartpack.com to get your horse started down the healthy path today.